All right, hey guys, this is AJ, and welcome back to episode 9 of our Guardians of the Galaxy series. Uh, we are just going to jump right on in, so enjoy, and uh, let's see what happens on this one. Sounds like Murder Mom's feeling more stabby than usual. Hey, better not slice through anything in that cargo bay. We ain't restocking anytime soon. Talk to the crew or call Cosmo. Harsh. Excuse me, I ain't the one advocating to throw ourselves to the Florkins. Oh, that's Light right. Rack. She, uh, Gamora, yes. got a hold of the hand of that gold guy. You all right there, Drax? I am pondering that question. And that makes total sense. After what happened with Nikki and that twisted promise. Having to watch the people we love die all over again? My family did not simply die. They were murdered. By Thanos. I think I'm... I do not wish to discuss it. Hey, Rocket. You got a minute? Okay. Let's make some flarkin' cool stuff. I don't think I have enough to buy anything. Oh, I do. Here you go. Cool. Now that was some quality crafting, if I might say so myself. Anything yet? Guardian of Galaxies. Cosmo, buddy, where have you been? We've been calling you. I'm sorry, Peter Quill. Cosmos ball is being tied. Universal Church of Truth arrive at nowhere. Are you okay? He's fine for a moment. Cosmo receive warning in time. But Continuum Cortex is of shutdown for safety. He's been dead, huh? Your little detective trip almost got us killed. We'll fill you in when we get there. Yet, this problem is bigger than Cosmo. Guardian of Galaxies must go to Xandar and ask World Mind for help instead. Cosmo unable to get through. Guardian of Galaxies must actually. Uh oh. Cosmo, are you there? What happened? I am Groot. So these are the cowards who defiled Lady Captain Elvis. Glory. Oh, good. And who the flock are you? Normally, I would not engage in conversation with inferior life forms. But my contract with Lady Hellbender stipulates otherwise. Therefore, abomination. You may refer to me by my title. I am Captain Glory, leader of the Lethal League. A uh, lethal legion? Uh, more like loser legion. <laughs> he surrounded us. Listen, I get that Lady Hellbender's super pissed, but now's really not the best time. Did you think that she would ease her bounty simply because you somehow managed to elude the Blood Brothers in nowhere? Yes. Then you were as imbecilic as they are. Lady Hellbender sends a regard, so called Guardians of the Galaxy. Prepare to be eliminated. No, you prepare to be eliminated. <laughs> Smooth. Uh, we got this. Probably. <sighs> Are we flying? I think we're flying. Oh, we're flying. Let's go. Hit them hard and give no quarter. There's nothing on that garbage scow worth salvaging. Groot, find us a channel with less butthole content. This is... The blockers are forcing it open somehow. Feel free to panic. Your dying cries will be reported. Oh, we actually have to shoot lives. enemies. Okay. Guys, I think they sent the non-lethal legion. Get down and back off, Cap. I oh, never that. back off. There we go. These guys have really bad timing. 
other side of this <laughs> who's the inferior life form now huh still that was everybody okay Peter, I'm picking up something what it appears I'll have to finish this myself oh a big boy so you defeated my fighters but my cruiser will crush you That's it? That's what you've been bragging about? What do you mean? <laughs> Nothing. It's... Oh. I'm sure it's very comfortable. I will not be mocked! Then do something about it. Lady Skullshoot is the worst flark in timing! Is she here? Just her goons! This time! This is very awkward. All right, then flip around. All right. That real damage. Keep hitting his exhaust ports. Oh, he just teleported. Your strategy will work. Thanks. You just oh, and then he well. just left mines. Oh no. I don't even know where he's at. Nope, not a thing. The Milano definitely felt it. Oh, there he is. For getting paid for killing us. Let me look up the contract real quick. Oh, 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 oh I just. Is... These guys are making jump change. Ah. Uh, okay. That's, That's unfortunate. It? That's what you've been bragging about. What do you mean? <laughs> Nothing. It's. Oh. I'm sure it's very comfortable. I will not be mocked. Then do something about it. That's unfortunate. Okay. That did some real damage. Keep hitting his exhaust ports. Your strategy will work. Thanks. You just confirmed that it will. Lady Skull Suit is the worst block in timing. Is she here? Just her goons! This time! Morons! Protect our port! This guy's starting to sound like right. rocket. It's called come on, come on. Well, starting to feel like we pissed off the whole galaxy! A good chunk of them anyway. Really need to work on our PR. You okay in there, Cap? Stay still and I'll shoot. Care 
if the galaxy's under siege. You know, contractors. We're contractors. Proves his point. We just tried to dump the problem on somebody else. Ooh, All right, let's try this again. Right and not hit a damn rock. Just kill them already. There's an art to this. Ha! We'll just drive the kill splain to the deadliest woman in the galaxy. I am Clary. Got it. <laughs> Take that, Lady Skull Scut. I doubt we've seen the last of her. We'll worry about Lady Hellbender later. Let's just focus on getting to Xandar. Punch it. Girl needs a tune up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head near oh, my sit. Wow, talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Over to channel group, let's see what's going on. These ships come from converted worlds. They're refugees. I need immediate docking permission. Please answer us. Groot, that's enough. I don't see any rescue shuttles coming out. They're ignoring them. No. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous dome heads, but they're they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flark and deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Groot. <sighs> Welcome to Nova Corps headquarters. Please state your preferred language of communication. Uh, well, I'm gonna go with the one that is English. Well, I'm gonna gnaw your ears off. Welcome to Nova Corp. But now we can all follow along with Star Pants' mistakes. How may we assist you? Uh, criminal offenses. We should report what Raker is up to. Think the Flark in world mind doesn't already know? Maybe not oh, every. Flark, you. We, we are aware of the current threat. Can no resources toward fighting it. Just pick something, Peter. How about future crime? Great idea. Let's report something we're gonna do and blame it on some other schmuck. Really? Did you have to? Uh, future crime. Thank, Thank you for being proactive. However, the galaxy's impending doom makes all future crimes irrelevant. Okay. Suggest the officer's directory. Certainly the world mine will be listed. Prime in progress. I can't believe this option doesn't work. This is the core they should be helping. Okay. So that one is we already did. Uh past crime. We should tell Turn yourself in, pay a fine, so report a crime. Already blasting about it all over the comms. Due to the imminent termination of civilization, we are unable to open new criminal cases. offenses. Past crime. Do you think turning ourselves in will get their attention? Connecting to banking services. I can't believe that worked. Gardeners of the galaxy. Explain yourselves. <laughs> hey, world mine. Long time no see. It's me, Peter Quill, Star Lord. And uh, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Check the addendum. We need your help. To pay a fine? No. No, of course not. You need to save the, the galaxy. galaxy. cannot be saved, Peter Quill. What? A mass delusion known as the promise is sweeping its systems, converting all who encounter it. In less than three cycles, it has spread from the crew of a single star frigate to multiple outposts, worlds, and systems. Praxis 9, Rigel 3. 75.222% of the Andromeda Galaxy, all lost. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. They, actually, the world mind's collective consciousness. Look, 
We know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop it. How can we be more clear? The Universal Church of Truth can cannot be stopped. Told you, they're a collective. It is a machine. Yeah, well, so are parts of me. And you better not call me in it. Look, we just escaped the church's mothership. We have a ton of intel you can use to bring them down. There is nothing you can tell us we do not already know. Pretty sure I know a few things that even a supercomputer can't know. Such as? Well, how to groom the feathers on a Shi'ar warbird, for starters. Are you still alive? Because I know how to groom the feathers. Yeah, well, I know where you can buy hack Novacore helmets at ridiculously discounted prices. What? They obviously don't know about it, or they do something. The point is, we've lived things, experienced things. We've survived the promise, and maybe our experience can be used to help you bring them down. It is possible. We have overlooked the value of individual experiential memories stored within our files. Good. So let's pull resources. Given the ill-defined parameters of such a query, undertaking a search protocol at this time is advised. Now, if you will excuse us. The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical that we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Zandarian culture. All else is secondary. <laughs> Have you seen what your planet looks like? Zandarian culture is a lost cause. Culture is more than a location. And yet after the Shatari attack, you still build the new Xandar in the same system knowing it wasn't safe. Where would you even go? Please understand. That, that we are, are not able, able to disclose information of this nature to untrustworthy parties. Untrustworthy, my tale. And how long are you gonna hide from the church, huh? Millennia? Bolenia? As long as it takes. And if you try to come back, you'll be completely outnumbered. Zandarian culture will be preserved, but it'll never be safe again. Point, Point taken. taken. Nevertheless, we, we must leave. leave. Why? For unknown reasons, the church is stockpiling resources. Its influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We cannot adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith, as an energy source, is logical. We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the church win? If the power source cannot be quantified, it, it cannot be countered. Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds before getting into a fight. You're scared. Yeah, you met a math problem that you don't understand and you're running away from it. Fear is an emotional reaction. Disputable. We do not experience emotion, therefore we cannot be afraid. Why are you running then? Our primary directive is the preservation yeah, of... Yeah, yeah, bleep, bloop, bloop. Thought you were a Class G superintelligence, not an infinite loop. You, you have given us new data to consider. Guardians of the galaxy, we will. Later. Right now, we need to focus on our departure. You're still leaving? Hey, we, we planted a seed. This decision without considering all available options. A complete search of our data banks only revealed... A single entity with the potential to stop them. What is it? Not what. Who? I am Warlock, the Church's original Golden God. Unfortunately, he perished in the last year of the Galactic War. Great. So, no one? We are, we are pleased you reached the same conclusion we did. It appears that our travel preparations are almost complete. Farewell, Guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 wait! Classic Nova Corps. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Are you kidding me? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. Oh.
All right, let's get this over with. Confirm payment. Oh, what? Whole universe is about to end, and you spend our cash on a Novacore fine. Look, dude, the church is about to come for all of us. Once that disabler goes off, we'll be sitting ducks. All right, at least we got that sorted. Let's get out of here. Hey. Peter. We needed to get rid of it. They're taking off. Chomp Quill. I know. Those promises becoming real. Peter? Gotta get clear first. Come on. And go! Scott! Whoa! What the flark did you do? I don't know. Why have we stopped? The loser legion must have hit something when they ambushed us. Guys, it's only a matter of time before the galaxy accepts the promise. Sacrosanct is back there. We can't just sit here. Guys. And how are we going to do that? We're dead in the flock and water. And if they right. find that must be screwed. freely accepted. Oh, yeah, and without an engine, we're screwed Guys, anyway. guys, guys, guys. Enough. Just stop already. I can't hear myself think. Rocket, fix the engines. How am I supposed to do that? I can't even run a diagnosis. No, I don't care. Just fix it. Scoff. And what are we supposed to do? I don't know. Okay? I can't just conjure up answers every two seconds. Fine. Don't. I just... can't do this right now. I need some rest. Well, I was supposed to move. Screw Nova Corps. Shouldn't have counted on them in the first place. Relax in your quarters. Look, it's our great leader. Got something to say? Hey. Here to yell at me some more? What? No. I really don't feel like small talk. You forgot your toast. Really? How did you... He's on my bed. Now I'm gonna get fleas. Come on, girl. Shoot, shoot. What the f... He created a That's hole. you got in? And the bed smells. Great.
we have a ship. This is our room. Why is it so small? Look at you. Me. Who? Weird air. What? What is it? What is this? How are you? Me. Come on. The talking raccoon's waiting for you. Everybody is. Uh, Rocket. Yeah, he was fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if we're some kind of big space hero now, why are we running from the bad guys? <sighs> It's complicated. No, it's not. Stop running. And we've landed. Uh. <sighs> Groot wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? Oh, how long was I out? Long enough to fly us all the way to the quarantine zone. Wait, how do we fly out here? Quill, do you want to fix your ship or not? My ship. Yes, your ship. Come on, the others are outside. Okay. There, let's go. This is confusing. Who stumbled out of bed? The rodent made decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough. What? Oh. Nikki? You're not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but... <sighs> Nikki! Tell me twice! Be on a loop, so I just shot at it. Peter Quill, Peter Quill, Peter Quill, wake up! <sighs> Drax, we talked about this, man. You gotta stop. Your illegitimate child was correct, Peter Quill. Hovat and Chimera will be restored. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, we just need to have faith. Test of faith. That is not good. Chapter 10. Uh, uh, Drax, you're kind of freaking me out, man. I had to share the good news, Peter Quill. You have lost your family. Your mother. The Cree woman. You understand the pain that comes from loss. Drax. But with faith, with the Matriarch's promise, our families can be restored. I, I, Drax, I don't... You have accepted her promise, have you not, Peter Quill? Uh... Not... exactly. But, but not because I don't want to. It's just... I have questions. I understand. The Matriarch's promise is overwhelming. Overwhelming is a word for it. It also took me time to see the miracle. Yes, yes, uh, time. I just need time. I will give you time, Peter Quill. However, 
I am less certain than the others. The wooden one may come around, but I suspect the assassin and the rodent will resist. Mm -hmm. This makes them a dangerous element to our cause. I must eliminate them. Wait! Why? Because <laughs> they're our family, man. Just give them a chance. It's a lot to process. You truly believe they will accept her promise? I, I know it. Uh, take Gamora. Her dad was Thanos. There's gonna be some stuff to work through before she can accept it. And, and Rocket. <laughs> Where to start? He's literally a walking science experiment. What Nikki, uh, the, the, the matriarch, is, is offering, it's, it's all new territory for him. And the wooden one? You said it yourself. He'll come around. I, I mean, it's Groot, man. He's our rock. Very well, Peter Quill. Good, uh, good. That's 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 great. Um, I'll, I'll let the others know. No, I will fetch her and bring her to you. How? She's like a million light years away. We have already landed on our planet. Think well, Peter Quill. When I return, she will demand your answer. Hey, Drax. We can talk about this. And now we're locked in our own room. Great. All right, well, that's on a call for episode nine. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we are now on to chapter 10. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe to see when new videos are posted. Um, I'm going to be putting out a lot of uh, content. So see you guys in the next one. Take care.